A girl went to meet her future mother-in-law for the first time and was given a necklace laced with a deadly curse. The moment she wore it, she froze into a wooden mannequin. The queen, disgusted by the peasant girl, had cast upon her the most vicious spell in history. A thousand years passed, and the girl became an ancient relic displayed in a museum. Then, during transportation, a fateful accident sent her into a river, where she was discovered by a handsome young man. He hurriedly jumped into the water to save her, only to realize he'd rescued a mannequin. Amused and bewildered, he decided to bring her back to his store, where they needed a mannequin for clothing displays. Setting her up in the storeroom, he couldn't help but be captivated by her beauty. With a sigh, he thought, if only she were real. On impulse, he leaned in and kissed her. As he removed the necklace from her neck, he didn't notice that the mannequin had magically come to life. Whoa! 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 My prince! Stay, stay back! Why are you running? Clearly, the girl instantly recognized the young man. He looked just like the prince from a thousand years ago. The young man, however, thought he was losing his mind. How could a mannequin transform into a real person? It wasn't until she gently touched his cheek that he realized he wasn't dreaming. During the conversation, she assumed the prince had lost his memory and began sharing stories from their past, which reminds him of an ancient tale. The story of the wooden beauty turned out to be true. He told the girl that a thousand years had passed. Worried that she might not believe him, he displayed some items from the 20th century, which shocked the girl into fainting. When she regained consciousness, she had no doubts about his words and passionately declared her love. Even after a thousand years, you are still the person I love most in my life. Her unexpected confession thrilled the young man, who had been single for 20 years. Later, he drove the girl to a street lined with dazzling neon lights. She was filled with curiosity and amazement, and soon they walked out of the area. He also took her to a night market, and the girl excitedly said that it was the most delicious food she had tasted in a thousand years, although that white stuff was hard to chew. Only then did he realize that she had actually eaten the packaging paper as well. As they walked by a shop, the girl found herself trapped inside a box. She shrieked in fright, but the young man calmly guided her. He hoped she could quickly get used to this unfamiliar world. To help ease the girl's nerves, he took her to a bar. As the lively music began to play, she swayed her body to the rhythm with him. The strange dance puzzled her. Then she surprised him by performing an ancient dance from a thousand years ago. Her movements were graceful and lovely, like a butterfly. Her dance created a lively atmosphere in the bar, inspiring others to imitate her moves. Since she temporarily had nowhere to stay, he quietly brought her to his room at night while his mom wasn't looking. She had never slept on such a soft bed, and the pictures on the bedside filled her with new emotions. Seeing a family photo made her think of her parents, and she wished she had a picture with her own family. However, the next morning, her loud bathing noises woke his mom, who quickly suspected there was a girl in her son's room. Upon more questioning, the guy knew he just had to tell the truth, but he didn't share the incredible stories. He simply said she was a girl he had just met. Mom knows. The girl was definitely her son's girlfriend. When he walked into the room with breakfast, he was shocked to see that the girl had turned back into a mannequin. It turned out she had just finished showering and accidentally put on the cursed magical necklace. In a panic, the young man rushed to perform CPR in an attempt to revive her. The mom suddenly walked into the room and discovered that her son's girlfriend was actually a mannequin. She was shocked and speechless. The young man also began to question his own sanity. Had the person he had dined and walked with the day before really just been a mannequin? Once he calmed down, he decided to take the mannequin back to his storeroom. In the storeroom, while feeling down, a group of people suddenly approached him. It was the wizard who had cast the spell long ago, an old sorcerer who had lived for a thousand years. The mannequin was actually one of his antiques. Learning that he owned the mannequin and that they were going to take the girl away tomorrow, the boy confessed his feelings. He hoped that if it wasn't a dream, the girl would come to life again. His friend mocked him for being a pitiful fool, loving a mannequin because he couldn't find a real girlfriend. When the boy turned around to leave, his friend took off the magical necklace, not realizing the mannequin had come to life behind him. He put the necklace around his neck only to find himself turning into a mannequin too. Meanwhile, the girl took the chance to escape. Shortly after she left, the sorcerer's guards happened to come to take something and noticed that someone had removed the necklace. Upon discovering that the wooden beauty had vanished without a trace, they immediately informed the wizard. This ancient treasure, guarded for centuries, had mysteriously escaped, leaving him deeply frustrated. Angrily, he scolded his useless subordinates, ordering them to capture her quickly. When the young man heard that the girl had suddenly disappeared, he finally believed the curse was real. Even his friends took him seriously and offered to help find her. Meanwhile, the girl was wandering around the mall looking for him when the guards spotted her by chance. She soon realized someone was tailing her. She slipped into a hair salon and quickly got an idea. Not only did she change her hairstyle, but she also tried on a few outfits from the store. She loved these quirky clothes so much that she almost forgot someone was still following her. Just then, the wizard arrived. He accidentally spotted the young man downstairs, who looked just like the prince from back in the day. At that moment, he realized that the girl's destined lover had appeared once more. In order to break the bond between them, he grabbed a crossbow and aimed it at the young man. Luckily, he missed. The young man noticed that someone was after him and quickly started running away. He ran frantically, trying to get away from the men chasing him. Just then, the girl spotted the young man, jumped into a go-kart, and picked up her beloved. 
to escape their chasers, they raced through the mall. <laughs> after losing control of the car and crashing onto the road, the worried young man chased after the girl, fearing she would have an accident. Unfortunately, he lost sight of her. To his surprise, the girl drove the go-kart right to his house. Overjoyed, he quickly ran upstairs, where the girl was already waiting in the room. Jesse, I was scared I was never going to see you again. My love was stolen once before, but it's never going to happen again. When the young man confessed his feelings, the girl kissed him right away. They hadn't talked for long when the wizard showed up with the police, claiming that the young man had stolen his belongings. He thought that since the girl was alive, no one could take her away. But to his shock, the wizard went upstairs and forcefully put the necklace back on her, causing the girl to become lifeless once again. At that moment, the young man realized that if he could just take off the necklace, the girl would come back to life. No matter how loud he shouted, no one believed him. Eventually, the wizard took the girl back and kept her under close guard, while the young man was locked up for stealing. Soon, the wizard was ready to hold a big exhibition. After showcasing the mannequin, he planned to take the girl and escape. Just when the young man felt helpless, his friend arrived in disguise as a senior officer. He claimed that the young man was a new recruit who needed to be taken back for punishment. But their cover was blown as they stepped out of the cell. Realizing they were in trouble, they had to run for their lives. Fortunately, they managed to escape quickly. The exhibition that night drew the attention of a large crowd. When the legendary mannequin was shown, the young man suddenly descended from the sky like a prince from a fairy tale. He charged straight onto the stage, but the evil sorcerer quickly overshadowed him. Tensions rose and the two began exchanging strikes back and forth on the stage. Meanwhile, the young man's friend watched for the perfect moment to activate a trap, causing stage props to topple onto the sorcerer. As the crowd looked on in confusion, the young man slowly walked up to the girl and took off the cursed necklace. In an instant, she returned to normal. They thought they were safe now, but the sorcerer aimed a gun at them. To keep the girl safe, the young man didn't dare to make a sudden move. The sorcerer took the girl to the rooftop, where a hot air balloon was waiting. As the balloon started to rise, the young man dashed over, ignoring everything else. He forgot his fear of heights from childhood. As he screamed in the air, he overcame his fear for the girl he loved. Closing his eyes, he climbed up. Once he reached the top, he knocked the sorcerer down a few times. But at the last moment, he couldn't bring himself to throw a living person to his death. Instead, he pulled the sorcerer back up, but the ungrateful sorcerer tried to push the young man down. While the two were in a standoff, the girl acted boldly and placed the necklace around the sorcerer's neck. In an instant, he transformed into a mannequin. Just as she reached out to catch her lover from falling, she accidentally pushed the sorcerer down instead. The sorcerer fell hard to the ground, and his subordinates hoped to get him back up. But then, out of nowhere, a light truck appeared and ran him over, leaving nothing behind. This finally put an end to the evil wizard. And from then on, the love between the young man and the girl faced no more obstacles. He gave her a necklace, symbolizing the resolution of their ancient love from a thousand years ago. This marked a beautiful ending to a movie over 30 years old. While the story might seem a bit cliche, the fairy tale ending is something many people long for. I hope it brings back the lovely memories of your childhood.